So I think we're live um, on uh, Facebook Live. This is uh, Wayne Wilson coming to you from uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, and I'm delighted that you've been able to join us, uh, join me for uh, an afternoon looking at a couple of cards. We're gonna take uh, 20 minutes and we're going to do, um, to do two cards again. We did two last week. We did Rattlesnake Island and Okanagan Orchard. Um, today, we're gonna do two. We're gonna do balloons and we're going to do carrots. Two shapes, designs that I think you'll find are really straightforward, uh, really simple. So I'm starting here because this is uh, a balloon piece that I did. Um, this is done on the Illustrated Magazine of Art from 1853 and 1854. Um, and it is uh, a, a black lithograph piece um, on the interior of the Industrial Exhibition Building in New York City. Um, and it was just this black piece. And so I decided that I wanted to liven up this uh, fellow sitting on his horse. Um, so I just gave him a couple of bunches of balloons and all of the audience balloons as well. So um, anyway, so we're going to start with uh, balloons and carrots. And as I say, this should take a, about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to move here now and over to um, the stand here in the living room. Rotate your phone. There it is. Okay. I think if we got this um, up on Facebook Live... And let me just tell you, I think we need to turn it around 180 degrees. There we are. Now, I think, is that working? It needs to catch up to us. So there we are. Okay, we're right side up now. So these are the materials that I've got. Remember, um, I said that I've, I've been using 4-inch um, by 5-inch uh, watercolor paper. Um, but you know what you can do uh, in a pinch is that you can take a piece of... Uh, this is a piece of photocopy paper. Um, fold it in half and fold it in half again. And there's your card piece. Nothing to it. Um, quick and dirty. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to take and uh, start with carrots and then we'll go to um, we'll go to the balloons. Um, now, you know, I have to tell you carrots are probably my favorite vegetable um, and it's a root vegetable that came from Persia in you know kind of a thousand years ago or so they started uh, cultivating it I gather um, and they were purple and uh, orange and red and yellow all kinds of colors we're going to do orange ones today so um, for this I would start in the middle start five carrots are simple you know they got a top and they come down to a point they're not real even. Take a look at carrots the next time you go to a, a grocery store, when we're allowed to go to grocery stores again. And they come down to a point. And they're not all evenly shaped. They've all got funny shapes to them. Well, down. And there's, there's our five carrots. Again, I chose carrots today because I think they're really simple. The tops, you know, just a few squiggly lines, and then, you know, they've got these kind of fuzzy tops to them, right? So there you go. There's fuzzy, funny tops to them off their stems. And just notice how exact I am on doing all of this, right? All right, there we go. Now you want to add a little bit of dimension to the carrots as well. So what I would do is I would just take this down on one side so the light is coming in from the left side here. So the right side is going to be in shade. It's going to be a little darker. But you know, see how see how perfect these lines are? I'm joking, of course. See, because and then Carrots have funny little roots that come out in odd places, and they have these little lines. So just do a couple of those little lines across. Again, just to give them a bit of character. Carrot character. Who knew carrots could have character? But of course they do. Um, I like to add them to chili because they add a great bit of sweetness to it. So there's, there's our carrots. Now I'm going to take a, um, a brush here. Um, 
with some orange in it. And I'm gonna take the, that orange color and I'm just, all I'm gonna do is just paint in this, this color here. And remember last week we talked about staying within the lines and how I was not a person who stayed within the lines. Um, and I, I mentioned that at one point in grade seven, I got the strap three times in, in grade seven. Somebody thought it was just two, but no, it was three times. Um, and you know, cause kind of not staying in the lines when I was in school. So that was back in the day when they did that kind of thing. Fortunately, they don't anymore. So fill in your carrots here, and I'll show you how to get a little bit more dimension in them as well. Pretty straightforward, which is what I like, straightforward. Three done. Here's number four. And pretty, notice how careful I am with all of this, he said, with his tongue firmly implanted in his cheek. So there's your, there's your carrots painted up. This with straight orange, no blending colors. Don't worry about any, that kind of thing. Um, Cause you don't need to blend colors for this. See, we've got uh, Christine here and Amy joined in. That's great. Remember one of the things that I'm going to do is if you comment on this Facebook live session, I'm going to take all of those names and I'm going to draw two names for two sets of four cards each and I'm going to send them off to you in the mail. So there we go. So now carrots have a green top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some dark green and we're going to just, we're not going to touch the orange. We're just going to go straight up and notice how exact I am with the, uh, um, with the green here. I think, you know what I need is I need a pink brush that's just a little bit finer here. And we're going to take it up. Just barely touch, and there we go. That's the kind of look I want. You know, they've got this funny frilly kind of um, design feature. I think carrots, you know, they've got this fairly organized stock to them, but then the tops are crazy. There we go. Actually, you can come into that little orange a little bit because the tops are all... There we go. So there's your there's the tops. Now I want to come back with a little bit of orange here. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with orange. A little bit more orange here. And I'm just going to touch this side of the carrots. And notice I'm not going evenly down one side. I'm just doing, you know, kind of little bits here and there on this side. And what that's going to do is it's going to darken up the one side where the shade is supposed to be. I see we've got Dudley and Ethan and Bo. We've got people from everywhere across the world. Look at that. So there's your carrots, okay? As I say, really straightforward. If you think about it, you've got a vertical line here and a vertical line here. They come to a point and you're done. And you've got this squiggly thing up top. Carrots have got a crazy top. So it's not like you have to have, um, you know, kind of huge talent to do these things. You've got an eye to see it and away you go. Um, I like to think of all of this as really accessible art. Um, this is one I did a little bit earlier and I'm gonna let this dry while we do the balloons and then we'll come back and add a little touch here and I'll show you what we'll do with that. So so there's the, the, um, the carrots, okay? So now we're gonna go on to balloons. Here again is my four inch by four inch watercolor, piece of watercolor paper. Um, now I'm going to switch from a pencil here, and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use one of my um, Micron pens here. Um, and again, you know, carrots are straightforward—a couple of lines and squiggly lines at the top. Balloons are just as simple; it's a round shape. And the nice thing about balloons is you don't have to be real exact. So, we're going to, again, let's start in the middle, and we'll draw this balloon shape. There's the little part where you blow it up. Now you've got the balloon done. That's, that's great because you got the shape. Now what you want to do is add some dimension to it. So it's a tiny little straight line there and then two little curves. This is going to give you the reflection that, that I think pretty much all balloons have when they're, when they're in the light. 
Then we're going to do another balloon off to the side. And there's the part where you blow it up. And there's your little light piece. And then another balloon over here. And there's where you blow it up. And again, there's your light piece, a straight line, a couple of little carved, curved lines. Okay, now if, if you don't have this four inch by four inch paper, as I say, remember you can just take, take the card itself. Um, these cards I got at Michael's, um, and I just drew this right on the card itself. So you can do that if you don't have the paper. So let's draw a couple more balloons here. Straight line, a couple of little car curved pieces. And let's draw a rebellious balloon off to the side here. Not that I have any rebellious characters side in me. Of course not. Just ask my mom. So uh, balloons um, often have uh, strings attached to them. So you could do the string straight down. You could do all five straight down. You could do, um, so let's do this. With a, maybe these ones are joined. There we go. So there's the, the um, there's the basic setup for uh, for the balloons, and what I what I want to do now is I want to do the balloons with some bright colors. These balloons, I don't know, in my mind, anyways, they're always nice bright colors. Um, so for paints, remember last um, last time we talked about this is the paint set I use. Um, I got this from Opus Art Supplies, lots of your local art, always buy at your local art shop. That's always a good thing to do, support local businesses. Um, so I got this at Opus. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 uh, colors in it. Um, I take this on all of my wilderness uh, paddling trips. Um, it's durable. Uh, it's not a, a huge expense. If for some reason it went overboard and I lost it, I wouldn't be losing a $150 wilderness paint set so um I'm, it's a it's a great piece uh, to use and see so all the colors you blend um you could use this just as well this is a dollar store piece um so um really handy to have and there's nothing wrong with anything like this i think anyways um because it's about being accessible so anyways let's start with um let's start with some colors and you know we've got the orange going so um take one side and just color this up with um, your orange, nice and bright. Again, you know, it's handy to stay in the lines because these, we don't have a lot of time here today, so we don't have time to let these dry between uh, balloons, as it were. Um, so we're going to have to do them one by one, and I don't want to get that color mixed up. So um, let's do a, a blue here. Nice bright blue balloon. Um, in terms of design, you know, five is kind of a nice number. Whatever nice means, kind of innocuous phrase to phrase it, isn't it? Anyways, um, it's kind of a useful design piece. Five, I think. Um, there's probably a, an art rule here that I'm breaking. But you know, if I get the art police after me, then that's just fine. I, I really don't mind. Um, but you didn't know there was art police, did you? You don't do things right properly designed, boy. They're on to you. Anyways, um, but quite frankly, I, I really don't care. Um, I, want, I want to produce artwork that I, I think is really accessible. We got a few more people here joining from Gosh, even more distant than last week. I got my, oh gosh, there's my sister joining in. How about that? And then we've got, who else here? We've got Geneva, we've got Terry. Oh gosh, who knows? There's a red balloon. Um, what, else, what else should we do here? Let's try a, let's try a purple one. The trick here is that if, you, if you're doing it the, with the watercolor kind of wet in wet here, it's going to bleed one to the next, which is why it's kind of useful to have the time to let them dry. 
between, especially when they're the, the pieces that you're painting are this close together. Um, that's the trouble with watercolor is it's, um, it can be a, a bit unforgiving as, as the case may be. So um, there we go, filling it in here. So there's your balloons. As I say, really simple because, you know, it's round circles and how difficult can that be? Okay, and on this side, let's do a yellow one. The nice thing with working with small bits like this is that you can turn the, turn the page that you're working on. So because I can't get real close to that blue, it's gonna end up with a little bit of a line. I could come in later and fill that in. That's the case. So there's, there's your th five balloon set. There we go. So that, that's, I, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that this is much more complex, um, you know, but it really, really isn't. Um, so we've got carrots. Uh, remember, I was going to come back and, and look at this one a little bit. So let's just set the balloons aside for a moment and come back to our carrots. Um, and... I want to just add a little little detail to it. So this is again a micron pen, but it's a finer micron pen. Um, and I'm just going to take and just outline just the littlest bit up and down here. And those lines that I used to add some dimension, oh, I'd have to take a bit heavier one here. Oh, that's not really working. Let's keep the fine one here. And again, just a, a bit of an outline. And it just kind of strengthens the image that you've developed here. Where's my other, where's my other pens here? I'm running out of ink a little bit. And again, remember, carrots are, are uh, pretty forgiving shapes. So if you're not drawing straight lines with it, you're probably doing it right. Okay, all the way down, finish it off here. Got one more to do. There we go. And then you want to just add a little bit of those squiggly lines here just to add that dimension. Remember, the light is coming in from the left, so your shadow is going to be on the right-hand side. Some, that ink, some of that paint is still wet a little bit. You might want to add some strength to these little places where, where roots come out, additional sets of roots. Um, so there you go. There's your carrots. Uh, as I say, there's nothing, I don't think, straight more straightforward than that. Um, again, you know, because I'm really, really complex with titles, let's just call this Carrots. And it's WW2020. So there's Carrots done. This Balloons, um, again, let's give it a really complex title, like Balloons. WW. 2020. So there you are. You know, th this is this is 20 minutes. You, you'll take these cards, um, and what you can do is um, take the cards, and as I said, but this is from last week, just glue it along the top and tip it right into the to the card. So there's your card and your envelope, and away you go. You're all you're all set to go. Um, so there's, there's three things that I, I want to remind you here at, at the end. See, I've got my list. Um, so please go on to, the, uh, on to this. Make a comment. I will draw two names and send you off a, a set of cards. These are, are some of the cards that I'll, I'll pick from, a two sets of four. These are the ones I did last week of an Okanagan Orchard and Rattlesnake Island, Palm Tree and Ziwataneo, a sailing uh, a sailboat, flowers, um, forests, um, all kinds of, of 
patterns as well, carrots and balloons. So lots to do. Um, please visit my website, waynewilsonart.com. Um, I'm going to do this next week again. I'll pick another couple of really straightforward designs that I think everybody should be able to, to do. Um, and there's only one rule here, and it's really about having fun. So I hope you have had fun. Um, think about making your art accessible. Um, I, I know that's what I try to do. So um, thanks so much for joining in on, um, on this Facebook Live. Yeah, it, yeah. If you post uh, post a comment, maybe um, post a photo of your of your artwork as well. Let's let's get let's get these uh, famous art people, art artists like you out there in the world as well. Get some public exposure. So, anyways, I'm rambling on. Thank you so much for joining me here on uh, Facebook Live Sunday afternoon, one o'clock in the Okanagan, and uh, we'll see you next week, next Sunday at one p.m. again, and I'll have two brand new designs for you. Thanks very much, everybody, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Here we are now. I'm gonna have to pull this off here.